This is our Petya Infection lab setup. We have three PCs on the same network. Two of them are unprotected and the third is protected with Checkpoint Anti-Ransomware technology. I'm going to begin the infection with one of the unprotected PCs and then allow it to move laterally to the other two PCs on the network. Let's begin with the initial infection. I'm manually invoking the Petya sample DLL using Run DLL32. The computer seems generally unharmed except for the sample DLL itself, which is deleted. At this point, the PC is infected and lateral movement towards the other two PCs on the network begins. Let's take a look at the other unprotected PC. At first glance, we see nothing suspicious. But let us use Sandblast forensics technology to take a look under the hood. The PSExec service was used to remotely invoke RunDLL, which in turn executes a Petya DLL that was previously dropped as part of the lateral movement. We can further see a set of network operations on the two SMB ports, 139 and 445. This is an attempt to further move laterally towards other computers on the network. We can also see suspicious activities, most notably tampering with a master boot record. Next, there is an invocation of a command prompt. When looking at the process info, we see it's used to schedule a system reboot in an hour. Petya spends this time attempting further lateral movement. The boot will be needed for kicking off its encryption. Rather than waiting, I will now manually reboot the system. As soon as the system starts, the master boot record manipulation we saw earlier takes control, pretending to be check disk, while in fact the entire system is being encrypted in the background. Once the encryption is complete, Petya displays its notorious ransom note. Now let's take a look at the third PC which is protected with Samblast anti-ransomware technology. Anti-ransomware detects the attack as soon as the infection hits this PC and immediately begins analyzing it. The ransomware is contained and prevented before any files are encrypted. Let's take a look at the forensic report Samblast agent generated for this incident. We can see the attack started However, the remediation section shows that the ANSI ransomware has removed the infection in its entirety. As promised, ANSI ransomware successfully protected this PC with no need for signatures or access to external intelligence. It's been preventing petty infections from the moment they surfaced.